Hello friends. Today we will see a collection of electrical engineering interview questions asked in companies like L&T, ABB, Siemens. First we will see the interview questions related to induction motor. What are the types of induction motor? Following are the types of induction motor. Single phase induction motor. In single phase induction motor. First. Split phase induction motor. Second. Capacitor start induction motor. Third. Capacitor start capacitor run induction motor. Fourth. Shaded pole induction motor. Three phase induction motor. In three phase induction motor. First, squirrel cage induction motor. Second, slip ring induction motor. What is slip in an induction motor? Slip can be defined as the difference between the flux speed, Ns, and the rotor speed, N. Speed of the rotor of an induction motor is always less than its synchronous speed. It is usually expressed as a percentage of synchronous speed, ENS, and represented by the symbol, S. Percentage slip is equal to, NS minus N, divided by NS, and multiplied by 100. What is meant by crawling in induction motor? In induction motors, particularly squirrel cage type induction motors, sometimes exhibit a tendency to run stably at speeds as low as one seventh of their synchronous speed NS. This phenomenon is known as crawling of an induction motor and the speed is called as crawling speed. What are the various methods of measuring slip? First, by actual measurement of rotor speed. Second, by measurement of rotor frequency. And by stroboscopic method. What is meant by cogging in induction motor? When the number of teeth in stator and rotor are equal, the stator and rotor teeth have a tendency to align themselves exactly opposite to each other. Since this corresponds to minimum reluctance position, in such case the rotor may refuse to accelerate. This phenomenon is called as magnetic locking or cogging. How to prevent cogging in induction motor? Problem of cogging can be prevented by proper choice of stator and rotor slots and also by skewing the rotor slots by one slot pitch. What is the advantage of skewed stator slots in rotor of induction motors? In the induction motor design, the rotor slots are purposely made with a slight skew arrangement. It will not be parallel to the shaft. This is for the purpose of reducing magnetic locking or reducing magnetic attraction between stator and rotor teeth. In addition to that this arrangement will help to reduce the magnetic hum and noise. What are the various methods of speed control in three-phase induction motors? Speed control can be achieved from rotor and stator side. Control from stator side. First by changing the supply frequency. Second by changing the number of stator poles and by changing the supply voltage. Control from rotor side. First by inserting resistance in rotor circuit. Second by various ways of cascade connection. And by injecting EMFs in the rotor circuit. What are the tests of induction motor? No load test. Locked rotor test. Breakdown torque load performance test. Temperature test. Stray load loss test. Determination of efficiency test. What are the starters used for starting induction motor? DOL, 
Direct Online Starter Star Delta Starter Auto Transformer Starter Resistance Starter Series Reactor Starter Next we will see the interview questions related to Transformers. What is a transformer? A transformer is a static machine used for transforming power from one circuit to another without changing frequency. Since there is no rotating or moving part so transformer is a static device. Transformer operates on AC supply. Transformer works on the principle of mutual induction. What is the working principle of transformer? Working principle of transformer is based on Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. Mutual induction between two or more winding is responsible for transformation action in an electrical transformer. According to these Faraday's laws, rate of change of flux linkage with respect to time is directly proportional to the induced EMF in a conductor or coil. What are the main constructional parts of transformer? Primary winding of transformer. Magnetic core of transformer. Secondary winding of transformer. What are the conditions for parallel operation of transformers? When two or more transformers run in parallel, they must satisfy the following conditions for parallel operation. First. Same voltage ratio of transformer. Second. Same percentage impedance. Third. Same polarity. And. Same phase sequence. What is meant by ideal transformer? An ideal transformer is an imaginary transformer which does not have any loss in it. It means no core losses, copper losses and any other losses in transformer. Efficiency of this transformer is considered as 100%. What are the losses in transformer? Transformer consists of electrical losses, core losses or iron losses, in core or iron losses. First, hysteresis loss in transformer. Second, eddy current loss in transformer, copper loss in transformer. What are the different types of transformer? Following are the different types of transformers. First step up transformer and step down transformer. Second, three phase transformer and single phase transformer. Third, electrical power transformer, distribution transformer and instrument transformer. Fourth, two winding transformer and auto transformer. Fifth, outdoor transformer and indoor transformer. Sixth, all cooled and dry type transformer and core type, shell type and berry type transformer. What are the different types of connection of three phase transformers? A variety of connection of three phase transformer are possible. Star star transformer, delta delta transformer, star delta transformer. Delta star transformer, delta zigzag transformer, star zigzag transformer. What is meant by auto transformer? Auto transformer is kind of transformer where primary and secondary shares same common single winding. So basically it's a one winding transformer. Auto transformer employs only single winding per phase as against two distinctly separate windings in a conventional transformer. What are the applications of auto transformer? Compensating voltage drops by boosting supply voltage in distribution systems. 
Auto transformers with a number of tapping are used for starting induction and synchronous motors. Auto transformer is used as variac in laboratory or where continuous variable over broad ranges are required. What are the different accessories of a transformer? Bucol's relay. Silica gel breather of transformer. All surge relay. Radiator of transformer. Magnetic oil gauge. LV and HV winding temperature indicator. All temperature indicator. Pressure release valve. What is meant by instrument transformer? Instrument transformers are used in AC system for measurement of electrical quantities that is voltage, current, power, energy, power factor, frequency. Instrument transformers are also used with protective relays for protection of power system. Basic function of instrument transformers is to step down the AC system voltage and current. What are the types of instrument transformer? Instrument transformers are of two types based on parameter. First current transformer, CT. And potential transformer, PT. Instrument transformers are of two types based on purpose. First measurement instrument transformer and protective instrument transformer. What is current transformer? Current transformer is used to step down the current of power system to a lower level to make it feasible to be measured by small rating ammeter, that is by 1 ampere or by 5 ampere ammeter. Primary of CT is having very few turns. Sometimes bar primary is also used. Primary is connected in series with the power circuit. The secondary is having large number of turns. Secondary is connected directly to an emitter. What is potential transformer? Potential transformer is used to step down the voltage of power system to a lower level to make it feasible to be measured by small rating voltmeter, that is to 110 120 volt voltmeter. Primary of PT is having large number of turns. Primary is connected across the line, generally between online and earth. Secondary of PT is having few turns and connected directly to a voltmeter. More interview questions and answers will be coming soon in next upcoming video. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe to channel rats. Thanks for watching.